What's up, everybody? Uh, you are listening to episode 15 of the Pixels Get Me podcast, uh, broadcasting live right now at mixer.com slash pixels get me. If you're listening to this after the fact, either on YouTube or on Anchor, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, and whatever else you get podcasts on, uh, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for... Uh, for sharing this with your friends if you've liked it so far uh, we're getting more and more into the news and uh, that includes gaming news tech news and of course new media news and we actually have a little bit in all the categories today so we've been a little we've been a little thin on a couple of categories here and there but it looks like we got representation across the board uh, we've got six articles um, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things uh, between Amazon's new MMO called uh, New World, a little bit of Rocket League stuff, some stuff about Valve, uh, going to mention Tesla a little bit, and uh, a little bit about Facebook live streaming and the new Mixer Embers. Um, and, and probably I'm going to talk a little bit before all that about PAX South and about how that's been going because I'm, I'm attending this weekend. Uh, just wanted to take a minute and break from all of that and hang out with uh, the community and knock out a podcast. So, uh, with us today on the round table, we've got first up eMonster808. What's up, dude? What's up, my buddy? How you doing, man? What you playing? Uh, playing some Path of Exile, man. Still. <laughs> That's good. That, that says a lot because it's actually a really yeah, good currently. game that's keeping us entertained. Currently in the middle of a lab right now, but yeah, we got this. All right, cool, cool. Podcast Good luck. and lab. <laughs> Good, luck. Good luck. All right, and uh, Curbs, we got you here too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, what are you playing, Curbs? Curbs is currently walking me through the, pot, the lab. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we got two Path of Exile players. Uh, before we started the stream today, I was playing Path of Exile. Um, oh, so you were I, also playing Diablo. Which I, I'm, 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 I'm going, uh, I'm going backwards <laughs> here. So I was playing Path of Exile still because it's, uh, it's really fantastic. However, um, today, well, actually, 30 minutes ago, yesterday, uh, it was uh, the Diablo 3 Season 16 launch. So I logged onto there for a minute, created a Witch Doctor. Uh, mm -hmm. Tried to kill Zoltan Cool with three members in my party, and no one helped me out. And then I died. So then I just quit the game because I don't really feel like leveling right now. So we might do that. You know, uh, I might be carrying around the Switch tomorrow at uh, at PAX, and then I might be playing either Smash or Diablo, depending on uh, on how the lines are and how uh, you know who I'm with and who I'm talking to. So I don't want to be rude or anything. Um, but man, like. PAX is like SmashCon right now. Like it's uh like Smash is everywhere. It's it's cool it's cool to see um just everyone just everywhere playing Smash. There's a yeah. there's a console free play area and I think they should have just called it Smash area. <laughs> because because like they had all these consoles and like they're all playing Smash except for like six. So there's like ninety 90 smash sessions going on it was pretty cool um but yeah so uh so regarding packs um today was day one uh, i was able to attend the mixer streaming or the streaming 101 panel sponsored by uh four mixer streamers they had uh brenodactyl concealed bones skofu uh stein was hosting it and uh oh yeah aw rebels was there too I really need to check out AW Rebels stream. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Have you guys seen it at all? No. Yeah. So he just like, like he straight like it was so cool hearing the four different perspectives on this because um, you you hear you know all their different styles of streaming. You hear how they started tech wise. Um, you hear uh, kind of what what they play, what they don't play, and uh, and AW Rebels like he was. And AW Rebels, it was one guy. It might have been Ian, I think. I don't, I don't know his name, but it's two dudes who run this channel, and uh, and they're just total jokers. Like, there might be a game playing in the background, but just they are the entertainment themselves, which I, I think is kind of appealing. 
Um, okay. So I need to I need to catch that sometime. But um, I'll probably put a link in the show notes. Uh, for sadly the, for uh, me, uh, sadly for me, if it's not something that I'm interested in, like a game I'm interested in, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah, that that's like the gateway drug, right? Like that's how you get into someone's stream. Someone someone is streaming a certain game that you like, and then you come, right, and you hang out. But then after yeah, that, I mean, after the game, like what's left, you know? And yeah, uh, if, and, if they're not streaming, the, if they're not streaming something that I'm even remotely currently interested in, it's not gonna. It's not gonna jive or capture my attention. <laughs> gotcha. And what it, just for using me as an example, what if I was streaming something you weren't remotely interested in at all? Uh, such as breach. Yeah, you could say breach. Yeah, sure. That's, a, that's an example. <laughs> well, right, breach is an example. Um, you, you're you stream breach, um, and you know, as you know, I'm not. I have issues with breach right now. Where it's, <laughs> I feel like they could do a lot more, but <laughs> right, right. And I played it, you know, and I, I tried it and enjoyed it, but it's like it's not something that captures my attention. So, gotcha. I wasn't always on your stream, you know. So, <laughs> so then, so then you'd be like, "See ya," right? Well, like I, I come in, check it out for a few minutes, and then <laughs> say hi, uh, back, say back, bye, back, and then be know? on your way. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Honestly, like there's there's That's, enough. There's, there's enough things competing yeah. for people's eyeballs. One cannot expect people to just watch. Well, like if you were whatever. playing, like if you were playing Path of Exile, like you were today or the other day, or you know when I first met you in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, I'd still be there, you know. <laughs> like, gotcha, gotcha. All right, what do you think, Curves? On that, on that note, like, how important is the game that's being streamed rather than the personality streaming the game? Mm. It's rather important because even with watching your stream, Pixels, when you did the League and Smite and whatnot, I completely bailed, bro. <laughs> yeah, but but see, we shouldn't I use me as an example you. because I don't have a personality, you know? No, you, you, have, you actually have quite a funny personality, man. <laughs> it's a terrible one, but it's a personality. It is a personality. <laughs> it's You got something. You got something. It's something. <laughs> it's it's like okay, so pixels is funny. matters a lot, but uh, if they have a good personality, that's cool. But it's got to if it's you something gotta, I don't like or don't want to watch, I'm just gonna completely ignore you. <laughs> gotcha. Well, see, um, when people watch streams, this is what I feel. When people watch streams, there's got to be two things. One, they got to be interested in what you're streaming. Two, you know, and then your personality kind of hooks it in. Yeah. But if you only have one of the two, like, you're not going to hook anything. It's kind of like fishing with cheese, you know? <laughs> yeah, you catch the cheese monster, but other than that, nobody. Right. You're not catching anything <laughs> else but the cheese. <laughs> yeah, the cheese monster, you know? Yeah. Well, you you know. Who knows if the cheese monster even here. exists? Go ahead, Curve, sorry. And you could have an amazing personality, and it's my first time watching you, but you're playing something I really don't care about, and I'm gonna be like, oh, he's happy and giddy and whatnot about something I I don't care anything about, so it's not gonna it's not gonna keep me there worth anything. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I'm with you guys too. There's a couple streamers that I'll I'll uh I'll watch them no matter what they're playing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, most of the time, it's definitely a, a certain game that I'm looking for. Yeah, but so those guys that you, you, you watch, regardless of what they're playing, right? Yeah. What started you watching them in the first place? Wasn't their pers- It wasn't their personality. It was the game and the personality together that made it happen. Nah, see, I, I would say that it's just the personality. Like, the game is straight up doesn't even matter like I, just and, and that's, well, that's what, just what me you to stream in the first place though? why pick it anyway no why did you go to that stream in the first okay place? so um we'll so use you, yeah go ahead we'll, we'll use an example on this one right so right, let's use uh uh ksm stream <laughs> <laughs> we'll use... it's a really bad <laughs> Bad call for this topic. 
Okay, okay, okay. Never mind that. We'll just use A stream. Go ahead and fix those. Okay, so so I would say going back um when I was first checking out Mixer. Um, I was yeah. scroll I was just scrolling, you know, just scrolling seeing what's out there, right? Um, because honestly, like Mixer a year ago, um, definitely didn't have a streamer of every game and uh, Fortnite didn't quite blow up yet, right? Like it was right that's when it was good, dude. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> so, so yeah, you could just scroll and look and see what people are playing and see how many people are watching, you know. Um, and I believe it was Arcanaut playing PUBG. Okay. And uh, and but the but the like I'll I'll bring up Mixer just so so we can have a reference. Um, <laughs> All right, go oh, for Diablo it. Three Seasons is featured right now. Check that out. Mika is uh, is featured. That's fantastic. I like seeing uh, nice. I like seeing Diablo Three up at the top. Wow, that's like just take a screenshot of that, guys. That's awesome. Anyway, all right. So uh, so right here, like we have for for those of you listening, I apologize. Um, you're not able to see what I'm seeing, but I'm just scrolling through Mixer.com, looking at, at who is playing what. Right. Um, so. Right now I have uh, Arcanaut on here as my second highest view count out of all the people I'm following, right? Uh, he has 854 people playing or watching him play Fortnite right now. And he's just running around. There's a balloon on his body, right? It looks like every other Fortnite stream. Like every other Fortnite stream out there that has a freaking balloon on the back right now. It's just like whatever, right? This guy right here actually has a victory royale going on right now. So you can actually catch him right now in the middle of a victory royale and join in on the hype right but on while i was scrolling no kidding the the arcanaut uh the 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 stream that was playing was just explosions it was just him and explosions and i was like what the heck is that right and it was like completely perfect time to see it so i click it and then like I'm like, what is even going on? Like it's just the stuff is just exploding. There's there's flames, there's crowd dancing, there's chat just putting like their hands up constantly. And I'm just like, what what the heck have I just walked into? You know? So uh so I stuck around and I was like, that's really interesting. Like I've never seen a stream like that. Okay, cool, drop a follow. You know, I'll I'll keep looking around. So you can just keep looking around mixer. But then you know he's on my following now so i'm like oh, okay cool let me let me check again and then you know I, I go back in and you know it's straight up dance party explosions going on i'm like man this is like nuts like what what is this you know and then you know i watch for several hours and i'm like all right i get it like this is the next the next uh evolution of content and you know i, I think he's kind of funny so um I, I watch him as as the character yeah, I don't know if, if you guys uh, if you guys watch Doctor Disrespect at all on Twitch. I mean, I've seen them. Yeah. 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 So so pretty pretty famous dude. Um, he uh, he has pretty much a whole persona that he just puts on. You know, I forget what the actual uh, name of it is. It's something something silly. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, he has like a character name or whatever. Um, I mean, Dr. Disrespect is a character name in itself, too, but, like, he has something else. Anyway, um, I feel like Arcanaut has that separate personality because a lot of people will say that when they have ever spoke, spoke or have ever spoken to Arcanaut, it's not at all like his stream. So, obviously, there's a character there that's being played. Um, well, when he's on his stream, he has most people who who content creation have some sort of character they're putting on. They're not right. generally as lively or active as they normally are. But what I'm hearing from you is, had there not been explosions and that type of thing going on, and he had been playing <laughs> Fortnite like that, you would have skipped right scrolled. over. Scrolled. Yeah, I would have scrolled. Yeah, so it was the game that brought you in. The personality may have kept you, but the game, the game's super important there. It's what no well it, it was the it was the viewership that brought me in i guess because he like i'm not going to keep scrolling through six thousand streamers you know so I, i'm going to scroll until something pops and i think at the time he probably had 120 people watching him 
You know, not a lot. See, like, probably. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even watch that. So that's just me, though. Yeah, <laughs> understood. Yeah, I, mean, I was just interested in seeing, uh, seeing what what the explosions were. Yeah, about. what was that? Yeah, what? what yeah, see, who does that? So it was. It was basically like I said. It was the game that brought you in first. Yeah. No, you guys. The, was... the explosions is not the game. <laughs> What was explosions was the content he had going yeah it was no, not his personality specifically but he made all that dude like, what do you mean he made all his personality that, like, yes it he is made all... wait what do you mean by he made all of that like... he, he made all those scenes dude right. every all 77 of his scenes whether that be crowd jumping explosions uh sound bars bumping to music whatever like I'm he made all to... that that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what are you? Actually, so, so, like, so I'm saying that he because I have never seen his stream, so I don't know exactly what you, what you're talking about. What you, you, you saw as a scene. Yeah, understood, understood. So, so typically, okay. So right now on, on my stream, I have me as a as a camera with a room. I don't use a green screen, um, and I have a, a name on top, and then I have a picture of what's happening on my monitor, and then I have chat beneath it. And I made that, right. you know, I, I chose how to do my stream layout and this is like right. the podcast layout. So it's just kind of minimalist, just, just the info, you know, but like okay. if I put explosions and if I changed my camera to do something crazy and if I had chat do weird things when people said certain things, you know, like different stuff would happen. Uh, for instance, the arcade that I made, that's, that's part of, that's part of me. And my right. my personality on stream, right? So you you guys might oh man, this is cool. I'm gonna stick around for the arcade. So you're not sticking around for the game I'm playing. You're sticking around for the arcade I made, which is part of me. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's an extension of me. Yes, but at the same time, it's not really the arcade that made me stay. It was the fact that you weren't doing a game that I hated. Right, right. Yeah, so you yeah. were playing a game that and, I wanted to. And I'm yeah. The you guys you guys hanging out with me is just one example of you guys hanging out with the game I was playing. I'm just saying that I think there's another another side to it. And I think to an Yeah, and I think yeah, and, and it, it's not a it's not a 50/50 split, guys. I mean, it's probably like a 98-2. You know, like 98% of people watch a stream because of the game is being played. But for the people who have a presence and a personality that goes beyond games, like Arcanaut or AW Rebels or whoever else is on any other panels that I wasn't able to get to that are doing some crazy <laughs> stuff with just content generation on the platform. Um, you know, like that's, that's the next bit, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, uh, it was interesting. So, so back to, back to the mixer panel discussion, it was just interesting to see that the, the spectrum of the four up there, it was completely different stories, um, completely different priorities. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, one streaming straight off the Xbox. Like, why do I need a computer? Like, what, what? I, I don't need any flashy anything. I just press the live button and I played a game. And a thousand people followed me the next week. It's like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah. What game was it, though? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Oh, it, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Not Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Origins. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, so she was playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and then boom, a thousand people. So it's like, okay, cool, cool trick, you know. Um, but yeah, so uh, so yeah, that was one of the things I did at uh, Pack South, and a couple other things. Uh, Got to sit down with uh, the last Epoch guys to talk with them about their game, which is kind of similar to what we play on this channel between Diablo, uh, Path of Exile, and other things that are kind of like that. Um, it's basically Diablo and Path of Exile had a baby and um, also added time travel to it. So it, it looks it looks pretty good. I wasn't able to get too far into the time travel piece, um, but they're they're talking about doing similar things like uh, what Path of Exile is doing with uh, with content for each season, uh, and they're probably going to be on opposite. Uh, on opposite curves from Path of Exile. So if Path of Exile comes out with new content in March, they'll come out with their new content in, you know, end of April, early May. You know, just to kind of because they don't want to fight with the uh, the player base of dungeon crawlers. You know, they understand that they want people to get bored of a game and then move into their game, 
get bored of their game and move back to that other game. And they're, they're not going to... Well, there's, there's, a, there's a good off-season between Path of Exile, so... Yeah, like, exactly. There's always a good month or two months between seasons. Yeah. Know? Yeah, so that's what they're what they're planning, so... Um, so that's always good. And then Path of Exile season is usually about two to three months anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. Sometimes um, a little bit longer if people like it so much that they decide not to, you know, just extend it. Right, right. But yeah, and then uh, and then I was just kind of walking the floor, uh, playing a couple indie games, um, hanging out with some people, uh, walked the board game floor a couple times. I'm thinking about playing some uh, some board games tomorrow. I'll let you guys know if that uh, if that goes well or not. Um, and then tomorrow also the mixer. 201 class on uh, on whatever else they want to talk about beyond 101. So, um, we'll, <laughs> so we'll it's see. 102 we'll or 201? <laughs> 201. I think it's 201. Um, sophomore level, you know, streaming class, you know. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> and then also uh, on the topic of Breach, um, Breach went into early access yesterday. Yeah, uh, I saw that. So I haven't I haven't had a lot of time to play it since it went into early access. I've been kind of busy with other stuff, but um, I'll be going to their event as well. Uh, the devs are having an event uh, downtown, uh, yeah. down the road from PAX. So I'll, I'll speak with them for a minute. Um, we did apply for partnership with them, but we'll see we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, nice. I'm not I'm not too too attached either way. Uh, I'll I'll just play games, you know. Um, all right, so yeah. let's uh, let's move into news, guys. Sure. All right, so uh, first we got a New World uh, interview with the Amazon Game Studio staff, and the game is on uh, NDA, and I do have I do have access to it, so I'm not gonna say much about it, except that uh, that it's pretty cool. Um, I I really like the I like the world that they're trying to create. I like the um, the feel of the game. I mean, you, you straight up start on on a uh, on a beach with nothing and you have to scavenge yourself pretty much everything you need um, but then it also has like this market that you can like live trade and stuff so um, eventually you can build you know everything you need to be a freaking super gladiator and go around player killing all day long or you can kind of stick more into the storyline and go after like these uh, I guess the new world it's kind of inhabited with some ghosts and some other spirit objects that you have to kind of hunt down um but yeah there's a lot of a lot of players um you know just running around killing each other but uh but as expected you know because most of the time when any on um, multiplayer online game is going to be expected <laughs> <laughs> exactly uh but yeah so i think it has a lot of uh so since it is like they're saying 17th century um, that kind of opens up a whole lot of different directions they could go. I mean, they could go like mythological a little bit. They could go actual like renaissance type stuff. They could go, uh, I mean, it could go aliens. You know, I don't know. Like it's, gonna, <laughs> it's it has, it has a lot of potential for a lot of different spinoffs and little, uh, side expansions and stuff like that. So, um, it doesn't have a solid release date yet. It's still an alpha, but if you do want to sign up for it, uh, you can just go to Amazon.com and type in uh, New World, and they'll give you a, a sign-up page. And they're letting more and more people in every week, so um, if anyone wants to try it out, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there is no, uh, there's like not really any vendors. It's all um, a player-driven economy, so um, basically if you collect enough sticks, you can you can buy whatever it is you need, you know? If you're just a stick collector... <laughs> You can sell those sticks for a lot of money because people don't want to pick up sticks anymore once they're making armor and stuff, you know. Um, yeah, you still need sticks. Like all you know? the time. Yeah, all, all, like like everything. It's pretty uh, pretty normal. I think they're also going to have some. Uh, I think they're also going to have some uh, some building and outpost type stuff where you can kind of build your own thing. I I guess it's kind of similar to Ark. Um, kind of building a fortress and stuff and protecting yourselves or allying up. Um, mm. But yeah, so you guys uh, you guys in, into like open world survival crafty MMOs? Yeah, man. I am. Uh, I play I'm not a fan of root losing progress. I'm personally. a fan of stealing progress, but you know. 
Yeah, there's definitely <laughs> potentially stealing progress. That's that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there was like a, a death penalty me, though. Uh, well, there might, there may or may not be a death penalty at launch, but uh, as far as I know right well, now, you probably there just one. lose whatever is equipped to you or whatever's on you because there's got to be something, some kind of loss. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll have to see. And I'm not again. I'm not sure how much we can uh, we can talk about it because I'm looking through the article yeah, and it doesn't right. necessarily say uh, what happens on death. So I'm gonna not comment on that. All right, well, cool. It's gonna be interesting. All right. Um, we also have a uh, a news alert on Rocket League. So now it's officially uh, cross platform on everything. So even PS4. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So you were you were just saying on uh, last podcast, Iman, about how PlayStation just needs to kind of get with it and start playing with everybody. Yeah. So you called it, man. So, <laughs> yeah, they're they're slowly coming around to it because. Um, eventually they're going to realize that, you know, their exclusivity is going to hurt them, you know? Yeah. Because if everybody else is cross-playing and you're the only one that's like, no, you're just going to lose more and more membership, you know? <laughs> exactly. But, I mean, they're, they're going to completely swap around eventually, but yeah, so. It's a good start. Uh, you can already cross-play with Fortnite and Rocket League now. Yep. Yeah, but Rocket League's crossplay is a shallow excuse for crossplay. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. I've How never so? played Rocket League, so. Because the thing is, you the only case scenario that you can play crossplay for Rocket League is is on either a private game or against randos you you can't team up with online or like actually try to play with them. It's it's just oh so like you couldn't likely um, invite it's, it's, me yeah so basically it's cross platform except you're basically your platform exclusive in terms of actually playing with people and rather than just against them it's a shallow excuse for cross platform it's it's not it's not good so are you sure that you can't play competitive I am I am very sure man what a bummer I, I've played. A good thousand, a thousand hours in Rocket League. It's it's a shallow, shallow, crappy excuse for cross-platform. Yeah, bummer. So, it's so you're like saying a, like you can't you can't invite me as a, a PC player to a uh, PlayStation, a competitive of, game. But you can play it, open. No, you, you can play quick play no, certain stuff. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Private game, only private game. Can you play with? a PS4 or, or a PlayStation or slash Xbox version. You can play against them in quick play or in ranked, but you cannot play with them. So you can't play on the same team with nope. someone who's not on your nope. platform? Yep. Shall excuse. Ah. You're basically exclusively on that platform. Gotcha. It's ba All it is is adding people to your match pool. And generally speaking, if you get someone on PlayStation or Xbox, it's going to be a boring game. Because yeah. it's either going to be laggy or they're going to be really bad. So. Yep, yep. <laughs> Alright, cool. So they're almost there. Almost. Well, Just all, all the all the systems basically have to good. get a better network. Yeah. PlayStation well, is good. It's, it's the problem with the bat... Well, them doing cross-platform is good. And Rocket League's just a... Just not. <laughs> Well, no, because like if you look at um, Fortnite, um, you can play. You can invite uh, Xbox players or uh, PlayStation or PC players to your party, but you can only have one or the other. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. like you, you can only have you can have PC players and Xbox players in one party, or PC players and PS4 players in one party. Yeah. So it's so. legit still only halfway there. <laughs> yeah, it's everything. It, it, it's just, it's not real cross platform. Because anything. I think that's how it is. Uh, Firebird might be able to uh, clarify because he, we were playing with our buddies from Xbox and PS4. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't. Uh, we have it on Switch and we have it on PC. I haven't tried to see uh, if my son and I can play together off the Switch. Normally, we play on the Switch together. It's just uh, yeah. it's just easier. For which game, Fortnite or Rocket League? Uh, for Rocket League. Sorry, I was still on Rocket League. No, that's cool. I was just making sure I knew what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. One night we should all suck at uh, Fortnite together. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking about doing that for the uh, for the mixer versary. So my one year on mixer, we yeah. just troll Fortnite for a night. So we're just gonna suck at it'll, Fortnite. It'll be it'll be the wins? <laughs> it'll be the first and the last time that the stream plays the only Fortnite. Time. <laughs> I guarantee you, <laughs> we would get a win. I guarantee you. Fortnite we can, we is can, not a difficult... We can all just hide in one bush and probably get a win. Like, <laughs> people are like, yo, you just don't like the game because it's because you're not good at it. I won, like, the second game I ever played in Fortnite. It's not a hard game. Yeah, I, well, I'm not saying it's hard. I just don't like the game. Like, just... every time I played it, I got at least two wins. Like during the nights I played it with my friends, and I just got super bored. It's not. Understood. It's not. No. I just wanna. I wanna start a stream with a stream title that says Zero Wins. I just. I think that'd be funny. I mean, we can do it if you want. It's just you know. <laughs> but we can't win because I still want to end it with Zero Wins. You know. No, that's not. That's not gonna happen, <laughs> Pixels. If you generally think we're gonna genuinely think we're gonna play that badly, then I am never coming back to your stream. Hey man, you said it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next article, shall we? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, so we got a Valve announcement. Um, basically, uh, they're bringing eight changes on the roadmap for Steam in 2019. Oh. Um, so they have uh, several different things, like uh, they're bringing in machine learning discoverability. So basically, instead of this, uh, you know, thing that we get where it's like, hey, check out your queue and like or dislike it or whatever, um, it's going to be much better than that. Uh, and then mm -hmm. they're going to change up the way they do library. They're going to change up uh, the Steam TV uh, app, I guess I'll call it an app. I don't know if it's considered an app, but uh, TV mode, I think, is what we're what we're talking about. Um, what, their stream mode? <laughs> stream mode where there where people can watch you watch the game that you're playing well yeah they, they were they were beta testing that a, a little while ago i don't know if they're still uh well it's like still a thing it's been yeah. a thing for a long time yeah it's just, I mean, just, just broadcasting just, like, your screen to your friends yeah are you talking like the big picture mode because that's terrible yeah, yeah that, that thing is that terrible. steam oh, tv which i, I, I consider it's what big picture mode looks like it's oh. no it's it's the it's steam on crap so it's it's legit take the worst console ui you have ever seen and then make <laughs> it in like bubble form and laggy and crashes every about 3.5 big picture and make is it not want to make it not want to go back to what it's supposed to be and mm -hmm. continuously go back into big picture mode when you don't yep. want to be in there and then basically force people playing Monster Hunter World to use big picture, otherwise the game will crash. Okay, all right. So, so correction. Uh, looking <laughs> at, looking in the article, I don't know if it's big picture mode they're talking. I think they're talking about the Steam stream service, Steam TV. Don't care. So garbage. <laughs> that thing is absolutely garbage. Um, is. So one of the things that uh, that we're seeing a lot in a lot of our news cycles over the weeks is talk about China and and companies yep. in China doing different things. So Steam is officially coming to China, and Perfect World is financing it. So that's one of the things. This. <laughs> they chose a big enough name, I guess. All right. So, uh, wow. Yeah. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we uh, we're gonna do a uh, or Steam's gonna do a new uh, chat mobile app. So yeah. that'll be that'll be kind of cool. How's it um, different from what uh, uh, from the? Okay, no, no. Go it, ahead. It's gonna it's gonna let us do gifts and stuff to each other, and yeah. memes. 
because you know a chat a chat service that doesn't a chat service that doesn't have that in 2019 is not a chat service groups you know the you know the whole past 20 years where those things have been a thing and you know chat services totally didn't happen they steam is terrible at upgrading their platform just yeah. awful yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Modernizing it. Modernizing um, it. They're keeping yeah. the same thing, looking the same thing for, for yeah. years now. Yeah, let's upgrade your the way your friends list look, but leave literally everything else broken and garbage how it's been for a long time. Like, legit, the one thing they didn't need to focus on was the friends All list. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Another thing that they're, uh, they're adding is... Uh, <laughs> is Steam Trust, which is based on their Counter-Strike... Uh, engine that determines if someone's cheating or not. So they're going to be doing a, a full, not, not just CSGO, but a full uh, umbrella on all of Steam. So if you're playing with someone, uh, it will know if they're playing through Steam as well, which is likely, um, it will tell you whether or not they've ever been you know, called a cheater or not, and if there's suspicious gameplay and stuff like that. Oh, that's kind of sad, though, Stop. because... Uh, like, you're gonna... I guarantee... I've never done that in my life, but I guarantee you at least 500 people have, have reported me for something that I didn't... Mm. That's stupid. That is... Mm. The, let, I mean... Games, let games do that themselves. Let's yeah. Steam... Like, Steam, Steam really should stay out of that, because... Like, like honestly, I've I've been banned from games on Steam because somebody else said stuff. And without even checking, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, so, any loot boxes has a good point. He says, that's what happens when you're good. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to disagree. My son gets reported a lot when he plays Overwatch um, because he totally destroys people's heads. And it makes good. him rage quit and makes him report him. But um, like, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> on Overwatch, you, you get through through gold and then through elo hell and then you go back and playing it you're going to get at least 50 to 200 reports yeah just period yeah no joke good players are punished you don't even have yeah. to be a good player you could just <laughs> you could just be playing and then you get into a match with a salty person oh that character should, you, you don't need that to be yeah, shut any, up. anytime they lose they just report the whole other mm -hmm. team for Take a couple minutes and just vent, you know? <laughs> like, I remember I was playing Anna this one time, and she's a support healer. But he's like, we already have a Widowmaker. We don't need a sniper. We don't need a sniper. We, don't, we need a healer. Yeah. I, the only reason you're alive is because of me right now. Shut up. You know it. You know it. And then he starts preaching to the other team. I'm like, you know we can use this yeah. guy, right? <laughs> it, it's funny, though. It's, it, it's, it's super funny, though. Like... How there's gamers and then there's whiners that play games, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am garbage at the majority of the games I play, but that doesn't mean you have I'd to be. Like, I attempt to be good it. at any game I play, but you know, it doesn't mean I am good at any game I play. I am garbage about just uh, just about all of them, but because I'm better than you occasionally doesn't mean you have to get. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like. Like I got banned from uh, from PUBG four hours after getting the game <laughs> for uh, for stream sniping. Uh. <laughs> so I was like, "What? Sniper no sure. sniping?" My one monitor let me go stream site. <laughs> oh, yeah. But without even checking, I was banned. So I mean, it's like whatever. <laughs> Any loot boxes has been banned from Mixer, so. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have to we'll have to hear more about that someday. Andy Lou yeah, what are you gonna come on the podcast? He did say something. Explain that. Like, he did talk more happened? in depth about it when he was with us before. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was ridiculous. Like, all right, let's uh let's move on to another article. That's about it for the Steam changes. Some good things, yeah. some bad things. Maybe more bad than good. We'll see. A lot of not interesting things with Steam happening. <laughs> I mean, a lot of you shouldn't bother caring in the first place things with Steam. 
All right, so uh, our next, our next, order. so now we're moving into tech, guys. All right, so mm, tech right. meaning the Tesla. Gone. So, I'm listening. So yeah. Tesla, oh my gosh, Chris. <laughs> so Tesla is, uh, they've opened up a, a bug bounty um, mm. where they used to give away thousands of dollars. I want to say something like $15,000, maybe twenty. Um, but now the bug bounty where they can figure out, you know, where hackers can basically penetrate uh, a model three and see where the weaknesses are and find zero day, uh, zero day exploits. Um, if people can find a good enough hack or a nice way to crack it, some solid vulnerability, um, it looks like they're going to give you a, uh, Tesla model three. And then, uh, and then on top of that, people were like, well, what if I already have a Tesla and I'm a computer guy? Like, am I going to void my warranty by, by screwing around with my Tesla? And, uh, and they came out and said, no, you're not going to void any warranties if you hack our stuff, which is pretty cool. So, uh, so we'll see how this goes. I'm sure we'll hear in the coming weeks. We'll probably do like a follow up to see if someone actually, or a couple people actually end up scoring a model three based on uh, zero day exploits so so kind of like the whole hack the government work for the government hack the yeah. tesla get the tesla yeah 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 similar pretty much is what it sounds like it's pretty awesome i mean, I'd cool. be down i wouldn't win but i'd be down yeah it's just like uh, you're sitting at, at a at a parking lot where a tesla's like charging you know and mm -hmm. you just like roll up and you like there's jack no up. Teslas over here so you, oh, jack you, so, you, ja you try to hack some you, poor you, guy you jack, you jack a USB cable and you're just like you know do -ba -do -ba -do, and then the guy comes out from getting his groceries and whatever and you're like oh I'm just I'm working on the bug bounty man can I just have your car can you just turn it on I need to get a debug log they'll be like what the <laughs> that'd be awesome hey, I'll, win a, I'll, I'll win, a, win a model 3 and then you can have the model 3 I'll just sell your old car for you yeah, I'll you take know. this old hacked piece of garbage. Here's a new one, yeah. you know. Or we can split the profits when I sell the new one. I mean, you know. I'd probably keep it, but I mean, then again, there's like no, there's no possible way to use one of those up here. Yeah. As well, much you as I would to like install to the charger it. at your house, you know, and then not go yeah. very far. As much as I would well, like no, to no, keep it, it's just not practical for me. Understood. It's not even that. The roads up here are so garbage. Like I'd, I'd wreck it. You destroy like, it. it would just yeah. wreck itself. You know, it would just wreck itself driving around. And you've seen the the <laughs> Tesla truck that Elon wants to make. Oh no. yeah, is he gonna make a Tesla truck? Yeah, let me uh, for for people not on uh, live or on YouTube, um, you're not gonna be able to see this, but um, basically <laughs> he said that he wants a uh, a pickup truck like a Blade Runner truck. Um, let me, uh, cool. let me, yeah, this is how it looks here. I'll bring it up over here. Oh my gosh. Turning off ad blockers. Okay. Just, geez, let me, let me show the truck. So that's how it looks. Um, pretty interesting. And it's just, this is just, just oh, a concept still, that. but, uh, but yeah, pretty. What pretty in the fair. hell does that look? What in the hell is that? <laughs> That's been a concept for a little while. It's yes, it terrible. Is. That oh, looks like a concept awful. that belongs on Mars. Just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it will be technically the Model Y, the Model <laughs> y because <laughs> because he has an obsession yeah. with naming uh, the car after uh, after the letters that spell sex, oh. and then now he wants to make it sexy. So yeah. You got it, Kesa. You got it. Mm. All right. Um, so moving on <laughs> past Why Tesla. Do that? Like what? Because because he's a nerd, man. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't he's care what he wants That's to awesome. name it after. Like the design needs to be functional, something pleasing to the to to the customer. I'd buy it, dude. That just looks like a that looks like a freaking school lunch pail that got stuck to a, a wheelbarrow and you. Trying to make a car out of it, you know. No, no, you know what that looks like? That looks oh. like a that looks like an emo Tonka truck. Yeah, an emo Tonka truck. Tonka yeah. truck. Let me see this picture again. Let me see the thing. I closed it, man. You remember those big yellow toys <laughs> they used to play as the style of the Tonka trucks? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a it's like like a stretched out future Tonka truck. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. All right, so let's uh, let's move on a little bit into the uh, the new media news. A um, little bit of tech, a little bit of new media. This is one of those blended articles. Um, so Facebook, uh, as most people know, has a has a live streaming platform called Facebook what? or FB.gg. No um, way. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and now um, Streamlabs OBS, which is actually what's powering this stream at the moment, um, will have Facebook integration. So uh, so that's kind of cool. Oh, are they? Yeah. So so now um, nice. not just Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube, but also uh, Facebook Gaming, which um, shows that the platform itself, since it's starting to get more support from more apps, uh, is likely going to grow, uh, like like Mixer has. So. Um, we'll see. It's the largest, uh, maybe second most visited website right now in 2018 metrics. I think Facebook was number two, right behind just Google.com. But um, to have that many potential eyes on content and make it easier to deliver deliver content to that platform, it's uh, it's good for some people. So yeah, it's awesome. good. Give Mr. Robot Fish some you know self confidence. Oh my gosh, we're back to episode eight, Robot Fish. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to another article. <laughs> <laughs> Robot Fish game. This is, this is the yeah. last article for uh, for this. Uh, sure. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> this bit. Uh, we're talking about <laughs> Mixer Embers. Um, so Mixer has a uh, Mixer has had this thing we've talked about previously on other episodes of the podcast called Sparks, where Sparks can be turned into uh, currency. Like, or they can be turned into actual money for uh, streamers whose viewers spend the sparks on the stream. And this is a uh, currency that is gained just by being on the site and watching streams on the site. Uh, so that's the free one. And now this is like the equivalent of Twitch Bits, where you get to actually spend some money and get these embers, which, you know, are like sparks, only straight up worth money. Not just an X amount equals X amount of money, but straight up uh, one of these is um, equivalent to a penny, I believe. So uh, so if you give someone 500 embers, you're basically giving them $5 as a donation. Um, yeah. That's pretty much exactly how Sparks works, probably. Uh, Sparks don't work like this because... Um, Sparks equal out the... A penny to the dollar, five hundred. Or wait, no, five thousand is five. Yeah, it's, no, it's regardless. A much, yeah, it's a much smaller number. It's like a penny to um, anyway, whatever. It's, yeah, like if you give a thousand, it's like giving. It's like good dollar. Ten cents, yeah, or something yeah. like that. It really depends on on how many sparks someone has, because as you yeah. get higher and higher on the sparks, the the payout is actually a little bit less. It kind of climbs on a curve, but um. Yeah. But yeah, so when when a when a streamer or I'm sorry, when a viewer uh, buys embers, they get to provide a chat message and a sticker or something like that, and that says you know how many embers they're giving the streamer, and uh, and yeah, so now we have a way to straight up monetize outside of uh, Streamlabs and uh, Streamjar and other. PayPal type things where you can donate to a streamer. Now you can donate uh, embers. Uh, right now it's only available for partners, um, like most things <laughs> on on Mixer, like the Sparks. Uh, um, you would also say it was only on mobile. And at the moment, uh, I think this week it will come out to other platforms, but as of right now, you can only buy the embers using the mobile app. Uh, yeah, with this uh, sounds like a really great thing, Pixels. Hey, I'm uh, still disappointed. I'm still disappointed that they're doing this whole it only benefits partners again thing. Okay. Yeah, on Twitch, uh, you have to be an affiliate to get bits, I believe, right? No, I don't believe so. You can just get bits no matter what you are. As far as I knew, yeah. I know. Yeah, okay, they so still take a, they still take a chunk out of it, but yeah. Yeah, they still yeah. take a chunk, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can get bits still. Which is why, if you actually really want to support your streamer, you just PayPal them something because 
you know. Because three percent is less than fifty percent. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not paying. I'm not giving money to Mixer. Like I'm giving money to my streamer because I want to watch that person. I want to see him get, you know, better gear or better anything. <laughs> yep. Or you know, and not not so that Mixer or anybody else can take out three percent because they're using their service. You know. In other words, donate to something like their Patreon rather than a rather than. That's that's my opinion. No, that's my donation. Opinion. Yeah, I think Patreon is something closer to ten percent. PayPal is something closer to three percent, and Mixer and Twitch, with uh, Bits, is something closer to fifty percent. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's my opinion. You know. Understood. Yeah, I hear you, man. Like I'm not I'm not paying for fifty percent of the servers for everybody else to use, plus the streamer that I want to support to use. Versus the streamer I want to use, I want to support, you know? The yeah. streamer you want to use, I see how it is. Yeah, yeah, we use Pixel all the time. Yeah, just using it for <laughs> our own gain. <laughs> um, yeah, so for me, I don't I don't know if I'll ever actually buy Embers. I don't, I don't know if that's... I've never bought Twitch Bits either, so... Um, I don't know if it's something I would use. But, uh, but it's cool it's to see... It's not something use. It's not something you're going to use? Nope, because... Yeah. If I'm gonna donate money to any streamer, I'm gonna donate to the streamer somehow. Uh, whatever I can discuss with the streamer about, you know, donating money to him for whatever reason. Yeah. Like if I could, if I if I wanted to donate to Pixels, I would personally I would be like, hey Pixels, you got a PO box that I can send you something because I'm gonna send you a check for you know whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gotcha. Pixels, you should totally get a PO box, bro. Okay, you can but just you can just unrelated. mail it to to Kill's PO box. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like, but that's just me though. Like, I'm I'm not paying for a platform, you know, that already gets money from the sparks that you buy, or not the sparks, but the bits or whatever you buy from them. For them to take money out of it again when you give it to somebody else. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, yeah, so they already take it out when you buy it. It's You get half mm -hmm. price, so if you spend $25, you get about 5000 or something like yeah, that, you know? I don't, so, know? I don't know if it's or, that. Or it's the other way, yeah, I'm sorry. It's 50, yeah, $50 gets you a little bit over 2500 You get some bonus, right? But right. each of those 2500 is straight up that exact amount of money back to the, to the partner. Like 2500 would be $25, so... Um, I don't think they take it twice. I think they just take it on the initial viewer investment. But yeah, either way, um, probably donating is is a cleaner, cleaner way than uh, than that. Um, I can see some people probably turning it off though because uh, chargebacks is a problem. Um, yeah, with, that thing with, is a pain in the butt too. <laughs> yeah, so so chargebacks happening. Uh, you can't get charged back on on these. So that's a nice safer way for a streamer to get or think that they got a donation they're like oh look i got a, don a donation and then they get a charge back and then they're actually paying to uh to, yeah yeah it's not 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 ideal if you want the money back just do or just do a refund it'll do literally the exact same thing you don't have to do a charge back typically it's just <laughs> it's just kids with parents credit cards you know so yeah it's dangerous and stuff. the parents have to charge back yeah because yeah. Yeah. well they don't even need to though it's just they do. Yep. Well, most They're... times parents will do that because they don't know what it is either, and you know. That's fair. And they think yeah. it's somebody else using their card. It's not that. It's it's your stupid kid using your card. Like the lady that we had at work the other day. She's like, I don't even know where that card is in my house. I don't carry it. I just leave it in the house. Mm-hmm. I mean, kids some people. Though. <laughs> some people legit just do that to get the shout out and then charge back to be scummy. Yeah. Like a lot that's, of people that's a thing. do that. Yeah, that's a thing. Yep, that's a thing too. Uh, Pixels, I got a surprise, uh, surprise article for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you heard about this one. Uh, let's see here. Control V. Boom. Bring that up for your stream. A surprise article for the stream. Oh, the Chinese console, huh? All right, tell me about it, Iman. What'd you think? 
Uh, well, it's just a little bit less than an Xbox right now, like uh, process wise. Yeah, it looks nice though. Like the, I like the angles, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, so the thing the thing that's really weird about it is it's a PC and a console in one. Mm-hmm. Because consoles are actually illegal in China. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's tricky to. Uh, to control what's on it, so they leave a PC well, open no. so they can interrogate it. They, um, it, it was made illegal in China because they were worried about their children's brains rotting, unlike the U.S. countries, <laughs> 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 and them not being productive in society. At least they can be productive while walking around with their phones. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is what they what what they they uh, literally said at one point. <laughs> so console gaming accounts for. 0.7% of China's gaming market compared to an average of 30 to 40% in Western countries. Wow, that's serious. KSM saying that the, the console comes with exclusives as well? Yeah, it will uh, once they, they actually get it uh, sorted out completely. So I wonder if you can play uh, Diablo Immortal on it. Uh, it's also going to have DRM. <laughs> uh, it's going to be heavy DRM though. Like... Yeah, I believe it. Um, but it's what's giving them the exclusive content that they're using. Are you talking about the Linus video where they tested it out? Yeah, I saw the uh, I saw the video. I just haven't watched it yet. I saw the the thumbnail. Yeah, Linus Tech Tips put this out. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He did a video on it. It actually he actually ordered it and used it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it runs a Windows. Eight, I think, or something like that. Cool. Yeah, I'll put a link to the uh, to Linus Tech t- Tech Tips uh, YouTube video that shows them playing it as well. I'm just not gonna play it on the stream because if I upload it to yeah. YouTube, bad things would happen. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely include it. Yeah, that's, cool. it's uh, it's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> it's well, a thanks. PC and a console at the same time. Hmm. Well, thanks for sharing the random Z Plus. Uh, console article, man. I appreciate it. Yep. All right, cool. I think that's it for the uh, the podcast uh, today. Um, for streamer shout out, uh, I want to spotlight someone who I just found out today uh, got Mixer partnership. Nice. So we're going to. Uh, I'm just going to open his stream real quick and copy and paste. Hopefully he's not streaming. Okay, cool. He's not streaming. All right, so streamer shout out goes to uh, Fenristix. That's F E N R I S T I X. Uh, pretty cool guy. I just I, I don't catch his stream very often. I've caught his stream maybe once or twice, yeah, maybe two or three times honestly. But um, but yeah, I, I see him on social a lot. Really positive guy. Um, definitely, he's, he's a cool character. Uh, in in real life, he's a bouncer at a club, so he has uh, he has a lot of stories and stuff. Um, oh, I should talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. I think. I think this is this is Iman's kind of guy. Um, but yeah, oh, so uh, this is, this is, he gets a follow already. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so so definitely check out uh, Fenristics. I think he just hit twenty three hundred followers today. Um, but he also got his mixer partnership, um, which is awesome. So I'm really I'm really proud of him. I'm I'm excited for him. And what's next for him? Uh, and then with that, I think uh, we're going to call it and we'll have another podcast next week, guys. So if there's any articles uh, that we missed that you think we missed uh, or if there's something you want us to talk about, just tweet it at me. It's at Pixels Get Me on Twitter um, or drop in on the uh, the stream four nights a week and uh, just let me know what's on your mind and we'll try to get an article in and talk about it on Friday. Uh, thanks to Curbs and Iman for hanging out with us tonight. You guys rock. Uh, always man and shout out to chat thanks so much guys for uh, for chiming in on the conversations if i didn't catch what you said um i apologize but uh but thanks again and we'll see you guys next time